Okay guys, I've had some requests for an Ain't Life Grand Breakdown. So, you know, here we go. We got the signature intro lick. That's some of it. I'm going to explain it to you depending on if you're trying to do it acoustically or with a band. Um, it's a pretty simple song, but it's those middle breaks. They get kind of complicated. So we're going to work through it. And I've got the music right here so we can kind of figure it out. But the first thing we're going to do is we're doing a G chord and we're doing this standard G, but we're, you know, using our, we're, we're borrowing the third fret E and B to do a G chord. Okay. And, uh, and it's a, it's a, it's a hit on the E string, and then uh, so hit on the E string, and then all the way down, and it's jumping that D. If you listen to the, and I'm kind of working off the studio recording mainly, but I've been listening to some of the others. But all right, so down, down, up, D, E minor. Okay, so, so, and then E minor, and uh, we go, I'm seeing a lot of that hammer on basically on the A string second, and then there's a little pinky grab on the E string uh, third fret, you'll see how's are doing. So, so on the E, you're hitting the open E, back forth, hammer on. Okay, real slow. Okay, that's what's going on there. And then, uh, so it's going to do that. Um, then it's going to go to a, a, a break um, where it goes to the, to the E minor chord wise, but there's a lot of stuff going on with the lead. It's like, So there's a lot of stuff there, but just to kind of show you the hooks, um, when it goes to those breaks and the solo and everything, you're an E minor. So what you're wanting to do is work the E minor pentatonic scale for the most part. He does do, he does some of that Phrygian, you know, whatever uh, stuff that he throws in, which I'll show you, but. So that's a bend on the 15th fret B string. Then go back to the non-bend on the B string 15th. And that's, you know, the B string 12th pull off on the uh, G string uh, 14th to 12th. Then bend that bend that uh that 14th fret uh, g string then it goes it back into the chord change and it's all pentatonic stuff and uh you can just jam it out and then at the end 
That's how the end, that's how it ends at the end of the run. So if you can kind of work those pentatonic things, throw a few of those hooks in there and then do that, you're going to be good on that. Another thing you can do on that break, which is a little easier, say you're playing an acoustic and you want to do something cool, or, or you're just looking, and, I'm, and if you listen to it live, you'll hear them do this, and they'll do it with the octaves or they'll do it with the, with the bends. But basically, you're like an octave here, which is E, so we're going to do our pointer finger on the uh, A string seventh, skip a string, and go to the G string uh, ninth. And then we're going to mute all the other strings. Okay, and then we're going to move a whole step, then a half step, and then whole step. Some of that. I saw Herring do it that way. I mean, that's the. If you know the Johnny Be Good lick, Johnny Be Good lick, where you're barring the uh, E and B on the fifth, and then bending the uh, bird birdie finger. You know, you're doing on the seventh, right? That's the John. That's Chuck Berry lick. The Johnny Be Good lick. Learn that, but then you can basically take that and do the same thing we did did here. A minor run, which is whole step, half step. Whole step. Whole st here, whole step. Half step. Okay. And then it goes into that bit. Okay. I will tell you, that's the bass line. You're going to hear that, and it's just good to know it. But I don't think there's really guitar doing that. It seems like the guitar is just hitting that open E during that, and the bass is driving that. It's open E, and then uh, A string fourth, and then open D first, second, and then it skips the E. There's some of that, but I'm going to tell you, bass does that, and the some of that during that. That's what the guitar is doing. That's the other part in the song that you don't hear anybody really play when they're doing it acoustically or whatever, but that's how it goes in that break. So basically, the whole song is that G, D, D minor, right? And then you're going to go to those breaks where you could just literally do E minor or... that part ain't life <laughs> sorry I got some weird effect on there so basically that little run that's over an A minor so the chord he's doing during that stuff is an A minor okay uh, but basically, you're going to go on the D string, 7th, 9th, 10th. Then uh, we're going to the G string, 7th, 9th. Then B string, 8th, uh, 10th. And then that's where it goes to F, A minor, C. F, A minor, C. minor goes to that whole deal but so that's that's the chords on that part and then if you want to do the melody so what that is is that 
that is a, uh, a, a either a minor pentatonic is what you would be thinking of, but it's really in C major because they're relative. But think of that A minor pentatonic, but resolving here to make it C, okay? So the way we do that is, okay, so we're gonna go to the E string on the eighth. Full bend, back. Then on the B string, bend, back, fifth. So that's uh, eighth, back, fifth. Then, then that's going to be uh, uh, G, uh, seventh to fifth. some pentatonic stuff in there. 